What's up everyone, Reggie from Reggie Tech here. I hope you're all doing well and thanks for tuning into the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing a product that I recently purchased and I didn't really intend on making a video for this product just because of the simplicity of it. But because the product doesn't even work as advertised really and it's quite annoying, I feel the need to make a review so that you guys can check this out yourselves and just probably stay away from this product. Now before we get started, it is a product by SmallRig and uh, here it is right here. It's SmallRig's memory card case. It's a beautiful case and I have had a small rig product in the past. It's for my Nikon Z50 camera. And if you guys wanna check out that video, I'll be leaving it in one of these corners up here so you guys can check that out. That is a great product and I absolutely cannot really use my camera as I would like to without it. And I thought the same about this. I was looking for an SD card uh, holder just because I am now filming a lot of different things and I just have more SD cards and I wanted to keep them all in one place and I wanna keep them safe as well as have them easily accessible. So I went on Amazon as I usually do and as usual I start doing my research and I start checking out reviews and I start looking at all these different things about the products and I came down to this one when I saw it. It looks sleek, it looks small. Here's the product outside of its box. It, there's really not much to an unboxing for this. All it is is the box for the product and then the product is right inside. It has a really nice aluminum case and we'll get more into this in a little bit, but it's a beautiful design. It's sleek, it's small, it's extremely compact. I mean, it's the size of a credit card. Um, however, it just doesn't work how it should. Now, it's a combination of a couple different things. It's an SD card holder, it is a SIM card holder, it has one SIM card slot, it has two uh, micro SD card slots, it has a little uh, SD card ejector or SIM ejector right here which is nice to have and that's pretty much it for the design and for all that it can hold. It can hold a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven if you count the little pin ejector uh, item there. It can hold seven different things inside this little holder. And I found that great. I can store three SD cards. I can store a couple micro SDs in here. If the need be, I could store a SIM card if I wanted to. And I always have a SIM ejector on me at all times. These things get lost all over the place. So it's nice to have one built right in here. Now, the biggest problem with this for me is that it doesn't actually fit an SD card. I have a regular SD card here. It's uh, just a Samsung SD card. And when I try to put it in the slot, it gets stuck at this point. And no matter how much I push, it doesn't go in. Uh, it seems that it's getting stuck on something or it seems that the plastic that this piece is made with isn't recessed enough for that to comfortably slide into place. And honestly, it makes me extremely nervous because I can't push this in all the way. And when I get it to this point, it's very you know weird to pull out because if you pull it out at an angle, you can easily snap your SD card. And this doesn't go in any more than that. I mean, and I've tried it on all three of the little slots here and it just does not work. I mean, I don't really understand why it doesn't work. As of today, when I'm filming this video, it has about 135, uh, you know, three plus star reviews. And one of the things we're gonna talk about is something that I saw in the review, but I was like, ah, oh, okay, it's not gonna be a big deal. That thing is, uh, is that when you're sliding this metal piece back on the case, and if you're wearing headphones, just prepare yourself to uh, edge your teeth. This, this is a really annoying sound. And that's it going in there fast. I mean, it, it just scrapes along the inside of the aluminum. There's a little ball pin here and that's what holds everything together and holds it in place. But it's just so annoying to listen to. I mean, let's do that one more time. That edges my teeth so bad. It's just a really uncomfortable thing to listen to. And um, that's just one, that's just the other reason why I really feel like this product is just annoying. And in that review that I saw on Amazon, this person said that that was why they were returning this and that it's a piece of junk. Um, I can see why a person would just return this just because of that. It is highly annoying. I mean, 
just imagine you're out in the middle of nature, you're shooting photography, you're trying to get some shots of animals or something, you're trying to be quiet and you have to open this thing up and then close it back to get an SD card. Uh, I'm pretty sure nothing is gonna stay around you. I mean, everything's gonna go running away. It's just very annoying to hear and uh, it's, it's, it's just very annoying. But I mean, the main function of this product is to hold an SD card. So aside from the annoying sound, it can't even do that. I mean, I can push this SD card in there all I want and it's just not going in. Um, I don't know if it's because they have these little tabs on the back and it's just hooking on the tabs. Uh, you know, there's really no other way to put the SD card in there. I can't slide it in from this side and it definitely just won't go in from this side. I think it's just a little flaw in the product. All they have to do is make it have a little belly in the center so that when the SD card is sliding in, it could comfortably glide right through, but they didn't do it. And I'm really questioning why they have 135 uh, three plus star reviews on Amazon because it definitely cannot even hold an SD card. I'm very confused about that. But I hope that this video has uh, been helpful to you guys. I don't mean to put any companies down at all. I just, you know, hope that they would take my review of this product and make it better with those couple of improvements. Uh, Small Rig, if you guys are watching this, please make those improvements. I think that it would definitely help this product out a lot. Uh, who knows, I might have just received a defective product, but nonetheless, that should have been checked during the quality check of all these items. So with that being said, you guys, I honestly like the design of this product. However, it is highly annoying to close and it just doesn't do what it was made to do. So I would say stay away from the small rig uh, memory card case. It just doesn't act, uh, act as it should or <laughs> as, as you would think it would. I hope you found this video informative and I hope it helped you out with your decision on the small rig memory card case. I'm not sure what exactly the issue is with this one. I mean, it has so many great reviews on Amazon. I'm really questioning why if it just does not do what it's supposed to do. Nonetheless, I hope this helped you out in your decision. If you were looking to purchase this item, I would say stay away from it. It's not really worth it. If Small Rig does decide to bring out a second version of this product with some things being revised, I would definitely check it out. And I will let you guys know if I do see that come up and we'll do another review on it. But at this time, this product, I would say it's a no-go. It uh, doesn't really work as it should. All it is is looks and it does look very nice, but looks don't matter when you buy something for a reason and it doesn't work out for that reason. So if you guys enjoyed this video and like what you saw today, go ahead and smash that like button down below. And if you guys are interested in this type of content and want to see more content just like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that you guys are notified whenever I upload any new videos. If you guys want to check this out, although I would say not to really, you guys can check that description box below and you guys can find the link for it. And if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them down in that comment section below and I'll be quick to answer them. With all that being said, everyone, I hope you all stay well, stay safe, and stay healthy. I'll see you next time.